okay so hi everyone so i have made this app using ai so in this app you can see the overview so this is the budget summary and this is the lending summary uh this is for everyday use case so if you go to budget summary and if you hit this plus button you will add your income or expenses so if i add my rent and my rent is 500 us dollars so my transaction you see this is my transaction going up and for some times we lend some money or borrow some money and we forgot that so let's type their name borrowed for i think yeah borrowed for food and the amount was ten dollar so i borrowed that money or i lend the money to john so you see i lent out and i borrowed and this tabs going on so i'm using lovable.dev so how i made the code uh, this is some code i wrote down to it and then the ai created a beautiful minimalist app so and after that i'm just going some error error and everything so yeah this is how you do it okay so first of all let's transfer our this code to our repository yeah create in maru Yes, so a repository is created okay yeah so this repository is created okay great okay let me check that okay, let's clone this one clone open up our visual studio let's open up our visual studio and let's open up the folder okay yeah this is the folder so yeah this is the folder so yeah so we need to test it locally so it's to see if the code is running or not yeah we need to hit the terminal and type and i then it will dip install the dependency for this project okay so it installs so after that we need to just run the npm npm run dev okay it's running so now we need to open up our chrome oh uh, yeah we need to go to localhost so you see yeah my app is running and if i add some transaction okay if i refresh the page yeah the transaction is here yeah this is working okay so for now we need to do one thing okay let's delete this app again delete I think it's not deleted. Oh, yeah, it's deleted. Let's clone that app again. Get clone. Get clone. I need to copy this code. Why is not? Yeah, I deleted this one. Yeah. Okay, it's, the cloning is done, and we earlier we saw that it was working with the local environment. Okay, let's open up our Visual Studio again. Open folder. Yeah, hit this one okay so everything is done after that why is everything why so many tabs is open i don't know okay let's make a android wrapper app from this one
okay so to make make an android app out of this we need to go to terminal hit new terminal run this command npm install it that capacitor core capacitor cli okay after that we need to type npx cap in it and yeah it is asking for the name so the name could be well, like budget or something okay so i'll go for this name and the package id will be dot comes as well dot yeah this is the temporary name i'm looking for okay so the android package folder was the folder. okay so we need to just npx cap add android to add the android folder over here why it's not working okay so we missed this command npx oh yeah we need to install the android plugin also okay, let's add the android folder now yeah the android folder is here so it's working now we will copy our build app it's done it's done let's open up our project in android studio first project it will open it's importing android cradle just no worries okay yeah we are seeing some errors it shouldn't happen What? Why this folder is not here? Let's go to Android. Yeah, the files are not here, so I think we missed something. Okay, let's close this one. Okay, let's go through everything again. And we install capacitor. Okay, let's see. No worries, all the commands I will post down in a GitHub list or anything. Okay, so let the capacitor config to TS capacitor config to TS where it is. Yeah, this one. So recycle bin. Run again. Again asking our app name, so it will be budget okay, we need to just add the android platform we installed the plugin earlier oh yeah we need to remove the android folder so over here okay let's add the android folder again copy or build app Okay, let's open up the android studio again hopefully it will work now it's saying invalid cradle gtk file you will ignore this one okay so i think yeah everything is running let me check okay so if i go to here running devices plus this is my phone okay so this is my phone yeah working correctly okay let me just turn on the do not disturb mode for unwanted notifications okay if i run my app now okay great 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 my app is running and I can toggle between night mode, day mode, and can add transaction. And if I add, yeah, I can add transaction and everything. Okay, great, great, great. And that's how you can build your own app. Okay, so how do we get? Okay, so 
we'll disable the developer option because we don't need this anymore okay so how can we just build a apk file out of this okay so go to here uh, and now go to build yeah, build yeah this one generate signed apk bundle go to apk next yeah we don't have any key store path so we need to create one okay the passcode will be six code pin okay so the certificate this is my name or oh, my organization name <laughs> i don't have any organization so I will put one here. Uh, my city is Dhaka, province is Dhaka, my country code is PD. Now we need to hit next. Uh, this is a release, release variant. So create. Okay, so my APK is done. So you need to just click here, locate. So yeah, this is my APK. So you can just rename your app name okay and that's how you can make an epic out of this and okay do you want to release this android studio project into github so the process is easy you need to go over here go over settings now go to version control go to github you need to log in your account over here after logging in just press apply and ok after that go to here go to git uh, you will see a vcs if you don't have any local uh, i don't know why so okay so if you don't have this kit then you will see a vcs you need to just indicate something over there so after that just come to git go to github and just click share project on github so you see this is saying remote is already on github because this this is the git file and already my project is on github so wait i don't want to share this one now so i'll cancel this and that's how you can share your project into github this is this project is already has all the git ignore files so you don't have to worry about that i think yeah that's all for today Bye.